This is Fresh Air. I'm Terry Gross. My guest, Elif Shafak, faced three years in prison for comments made by characters in her novel, The Bastard of Istanbul, which has just been published in the U.S. Shafak is from Turkey, where Article 301 of the Penal Code makes it illegal to insult Turkishness. And for those Turks behind this law, one of the most egregious ways of insulting Turkishness is to use the word genocide when describing the mass killings and deportations of Armenians by Ottoman Turks beginning in 1915. Shafak has acknowledged that her novel tackles a political taboo, quote, what we in Turkey call the Armenian question, unquote. One of the characters in Shafak's novel uses the word genocide. The Bastard of Istanbul tells the story of two families, a Turkish Muslim family in Istanbul and an Armenian American family in San Francisco. Shafak says the novel is about the tension between the need to examine the past and the desire to erase it. Shafak was acquitted of violating Article 301, but a journalist who described himself as an Armenian from Turkey was found guilty. That journalist, Harank Dink, was assassinated last month. Now many Turkish writers and intellectuals, including Elif Shafak and the Nobel laureate Oram Pamuk, find their safety threatened. It's unsafe for some of them to publicly discuss what happened to the Armenians in 1915. I spoke with Elif Shafak yesterday. Elif Shafak, welcome to Fresh Air. Um, what was the significance in Turkey of the murder of Haran Dink? Um, I think the best way to understand that uh, is to look at Hiran's funeral. It brought people of all uh, sorts of ideological backgrounds, people of all walks of life, ethnicities, religions were there, and it was a very poignant, moving experience. Everyone was chanting, we're all Hiran, we're all Armenian, and Christians and Muslims buried him together. What was he tried for before he was assassinated? Um, he was tried several times um, for insulting Turkishness. He was an um, outspoken critic of lots of things. But basically he was someone who wanted to bridge the gap between Armenians and Turks. I think uh, he wanted to be a bridge. And he believed that these two communities had much more in common that they wanted to recognize because of politics. Um, and he very much believes in the need to empathize with the others. What does this mean for other Turkish intellectuals and writers and journalists who, ha who are independent thinkers? Well, um, I think in Turkey, uh, ever since the late Ottoman era, intellectuals, intelligentsia has played a very fundamental role in terms of triggering social transformation this is the case right now, it was the case in the past. But of course, after Hrant's assassination, uh, everybody uh, is very nervous. And lots of, I mean not lots of, but several writers and intellectuals have been given police protection. Um, right now everything is quite tense. We, the investigation is still going on, it's still too early to talk about. But the government is taking the investigation very seriously and hopefully um, everyone who is um, culpable will, will be brought to trial because of this. Would you describe Article 301, which is the law that, that Harant Dink was tried under and you were tried under? Um, it's quite ironic, actually, because Article 301 was part of the reforms process. I mean, it was introduced as a positive step, as a progressive step. Um, in, in terms of bringing the country to EU standards. And when compared with the older articles um, that were a stumbling block in front, of, in front of freedom of expression, it was in itself a step forward. Nevertheless, the problem with Article 301 is that it's quite vaguely formulated. What does it mean to insult Turkishness? Right, it, it, it prohibits public denigration of Turkishness. What, what does right, that mean? Right, but what exactly that means, I mean, nobody's quite sure of. And that's, that's where the problem lies, because, because it's so vaguely formulated, it is open to interpretations and therefore misinterpretations. So that's the problem with the article. But in